not going to just pause and this practice to just be. This is our 15 minute meditation practice rooted in the practice of yoga, the practice of being. Inspiration comes today from the words of Thich Nhat Hanh. So settle yourself in and let's begin again. So settle in and find that comfortable, sustainable posture. Welcome the breath and let go of anything else that might demand your attention. Because now the gift is to give that attention to yourself, to this practice. From Thich Nhat Hanh, the habit of doing. We tend to think in terms of doing rather than being. Many of us are used to running around from this to that. Now we can't always refrain from doing things. It has become a bit of a habit. We think that when we're not doing something, we're wasting our time. That simply isn't true. Our time is first of all, for us to be alive, to be peace, to be joy, to be loving. This is what the world needs most. And we set aside doing to just be. Maybe to begin this introspection, you want to visualize setting aside the doings on your list. Give them a space that is just beyond your physical reach, your mental awareness. And turn the attention in again and again, setting aside that which is not being, but is rather evidence of the habits of doing. And maybe you've got a dozen things, maybe you have just a simple one or two doings that come to mind. This is not any evidence of your worthiness or your adeptness. This is just simply what's present. So as we set it aside and come back to just being, begin again. Breathe. Relax. Feel. Witness. And allow the art of just being. Maybe you get a bit of ease, of peace. Maybe that peace is quickly disturbed by a thought, an expectation, an attachment, a judgment. That's not evidence of our failure. It's an invitation to begin again, to set it aside and come back to just being. We are, after all, designed to do. We are inherently being first. If we know the art of being peaceful, says Thich Nhat Hanh, of being solid, then we have the ground for every action because the ground for action is to be. The quality of 
our being determines the quality of our doing. The value of our action depends on the value of our non-action. So doing nothing is already doing something. It is bringing about the dimension of being. It's not easy to just be. But like any habit, it takes practice to rewrite, to redesign, to redo the habits according to our intentions. The practice itself of asana, pranayama, and meditation are the practices of doing to remind us of our own being, to help us to be in ease. If you can be happy, relaxed, and smiling when you're not doing something, you are quite strong. Doing nothing brings about the quality of being, which is very important. We're so attached to our doings, to our titles, to our roles, to our status in the world. And yet, what is left when those roles are removed, those titles are no longer appropriate, when those relationships perhaps are no longer true? What's left? It's you, it's your essence, it's the Atman. And so to be is to connect with that true center. Just like our asana lets us practice the range of motion, the roles in our lives let us practice connection and courage and compassion so that we can just be. So, as Thich Nhat Hanh says, doing nothing is actually something. Just be. Until we can let go of all layers of the mind stuff and the body stuff, use them to facilitate a deeper attention to what's here in this moment, just as you are. If you don't need those, let, they, let them go too. You don't need your senses, tune them out. If you don't need your thoughts, let them float by. If you can just be, you won't need any of these things, any of these invitations for more doing.
much effort, how much attention the body or the breath or even the mind stuff asking of you. Can you reduce it even just 1%? Trust this ebb and flow of the breath, this dynamic vacuum of pressure that keeps the breath circulating so that you can be and less do. It is where you are in this beingness, this suspended state of non-doing. Knowing that this is your natural state. Choose if you want to pick up any of those to-do items that you set outside your reach. Take a look at them from this being place. Are they yours to do? Do they need to be done? Is now the time? And if there's a no to any of those questions or a, I don't know, leave it be. Proceed through each of these items. In your mind's eye, ask yourself, does this need to be done? Does it need to be done by me? Does it need to be done now? Can I just be a little more When you completed your revisit to each of these items and picked up that which is yours to do today, let's close this practice. If you have more viewing and more observing to do, then linger here as long as your schedule allows because this being will make our doing better. This clarity will facilitate stronger decisions and better quality of connections when we return to the doing. So when you are ready to return to the doing, do so, but take with you the ease of this moment, this permission, this compassion. May you breathe deeply, move freely, labor lovingly, so you may live vibrantly and in ease. Namaste.